Turning now to our coronavirus coverage, new numbers from a federal agency show more than 1,100 Hoosiers in assisted living facilities have died of COVID-19. That number is nearly 200 more than the data on the state's website. CBS4's Kelly Rinke is working tonight to find out why. Coronavirus is killing hundreds of Hoosiers inside our long-term care facilities, including 72-year-old Gara Boyer. If I had known earlier that all of this was going on, Made arrangements. His daughter Julie Woods fought for more transparency about cases inside his facility. Now its owner publishes that data online. I'm happy that they're publishing the numbers. I think that it's a little too late. We would have left at, at the onset of all of this. Indiana also posts COVID-19 numbers for long-term care facilities, providing aggregate totals, but not the names of centers. It's updated every week on the dashboard. Yesterday, ISDH reported 945 residents of long-term care facilities have died. But on that same day, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services published a different number, 1,141, nearly 200 more people than Indiana's total. The data need to be as accurate as possible, um, given that there's going going to be um, interpretation of how to report that data. Zach Cattell is the president of the Indiana Healthcare Association. It's the group that represents these facilities. Centers are required to report any COVID-19 related deaths to the state. Even with the discrepancy, Cattell explains he's not concerned facilities are failing to do that. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to discern exactly what the difference is or why the reasons uh, for those difference um, in, in data from the state and the federal government. Today, Indiana's Joint Information Center claims data may differ for a number of reasons, including reporting methods. The state says they will be reviewing the CMS report to identify where differences exist to make sure data posted on the ISDH dashboard is as accurate and current as possible. It helps us to have peace of mind um, and to be able to make accurate decisions when we have accurate data. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, CBS4 News. Now, starting on Thursday, COVID-19 data for nursing homes across the country will be available online. Indiana says they will continue to post aggregate data each and every week.